I am going to do the, the, the drawing for the same bow thruster with AC motor. Good guys? When I have a, an, a, an, a bow thruster uh, with AC motor, I am talking about a big boat, no? More than 100 feet. Big, big boat. Not than a small boat. Okay, and uh, in that case, I am talking about uh, a boat with uh, two faces or three faces in the AC panel. It's a big, big boat. Suppose that uh, it's a three-phase boat. It's a three-phase boat with three faces on the breaker. And I have a uh, breaker's uh, three faces here, breaker double face, for some equipments double face, and breaker single face. You are familiarized with this distribution, no guys? Okay, and uh, of course I have a uh, one face here, other face here, and other face here, and this is the other face, and this is the face, the face, the face, okay. All right, okay, um, and this is my bow thruster. This is the tunnel. Uh, this is uh, the lower unit of the, of the tunnel. This is the bracket. Uh, this is the motor. It's a motor here, three-phase motor. And uh, uh, of course, I have a here and a small box if I have a three-phase motor, reversible motor, I have a box with contactor. This is a bow thruster, AC, three-phase motor, and, uh, and uh, we are going to do the contactor with a DC signal. Okay, in this box, I have a couple of uh, contactors. What element is located in between both contactors? What mechanical element is located in between both contactors? The interlock to block the movement in one direction when the, when the other breaker is activated. All right. And uh, also, uh, we have here the DC panel. And uh, before the current enters in the DC panel, normally I have two elements. One element is the constant positive boost bar, and after that I have the chant. You remember? Mm -hmm. And the current continue and enter over there. And here I have some breakers. That's the DC panel. And this one is the AC panel. And this is the box. This is the sub panel, AC sub panel for contactors. All right, pay attention. I am going to bring the signals. I am going to bring the signals. The breakers are three phase breakers, no? And uh, I am going to bring the second signal, the second phase, and I am going to bring the third phase the purple face. Okay, perfect. And uh, in the bottom of the breakers, I am going to connect the first one with the first one, the second one with the second one, and the third one with the third one. And I am going to bring the faces, face number one, face number two, to the motor, three-phase motor, and phase number three in the position recommended by the manufacturer in the control box of the AC motor, three-phase motor. This is AC motor, three-phase. Ready, guys? Okay. And now, this is the secret. I am going to switch those two phases in this breaker the red phase is in the second slot. That phase will be in the third one. And uh, in this phase, the purple is in the third. In the other breaker, it should be second. in the second. And that's it. That's it. This is the procedure to connect both contactors 
to reverse the rotation of this AC motor three phase if the bow thruster use a three phase motor reversible motor. And uh, now I am going to bring the signal, the signal, the signal for the activation of the contactors, left side or right side. And uh, that signal will be coming from uh, the joystick, the joystick located probably, and the joystick have in the bottom minimum three terminals, probably four terminals. Okay, the joystick, if it's DC signal, pay attention, the joystick is DC signal, receive the power from one breaker in the DC panel and the breaker say thruster. Okay, and now I am going to bring the power of activation DC. Negative here, negative here, and the positive will be one cable, blue color, for the blue position. And other cable, green color, for the green position. Uh, of course, this is positive DC, and this one is positive DC, only the color is because the training purposes. And uh, that's it, now the joystick, the joystick is a DC joystick. This is signal. And the bow thruster is operated, the motor, three-phase motor with contactors, and the signal is DC. Can I install an other joystick in other in other place? Yeah. Parallel. Yeah. Yes, in parallel with this. And uh, simple, my friends. How is the process to start to activate this bow thruster? Number one. Turn on the breaker in the DC panel for the joystick. Second one. Turn on the three-phase breaker in the AC panel, and that breaker is thruster. You have two breakers. One breaker for the motor, and other small breaker, single phase, for the signal DC. Now I am going to modify that picture for AC signal. The same bow thruster, now with DC signal, with AC signal. Pay attention, I am going to eliminate this signal. I am going to eliminate the DC panel and the joystick right now is for AC signal. Okay, what I need added? Because, because now the activation here is not positive and negative, is hot and neutral. Okay, remember that uh, here I have, a, I have the neutral, no? The neutral boost bar. Probably the neutral enter directly here and go down. And here, I have neutral. For those breakers, I don't need neutral. Because in those breakers, I only, I only send the faces. The other terminal here is the ground. Remember, when you have a three-phase motor or two-phase motor, the reference is hot, hot, and ground. Or hot, 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 and ground. In this particular case, hot, 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 and ground. You don't need the neutral over there. Okay, the neutral is used in, in single phase installation. All right. This is, this is the main breaker, three phase breaker. This is the breaker for a uh, uh, thruster motor. And I am going to create another single phase for thruster, joystick or signal. Okay, and uh, what color is this face? This face is black. And the other element that I need is the neutral. Okay, I have hot and neutral. Where is coming the hot and where is coming the neutral? Where is coming the hot? In the middle of the joystick. The hot, the hot, the hot, Enter over there. This is hot. 
no? And the neutral is going to the bottom of the conductor. Neutral, neutral, neutral here, and neutral here. Neutral and neutral. That's okay? All right, great. And hot, this is hot one, and this is hot two. Okay, hot one enter here, and hot two enter here. That's correct, guys? And now, my bow thruster is running with AC signal. I interrupt with the joystick the AC. And bingo! Ah, to activate that bow thruster, I need to activate two breakers. The breaker for the motor and the small breaker for the signal, both of them. We are going to do a small troubleshoot on that motor. The captain complained that uh, the bow thruster is moving starboard side, but no port side. Starboard side, but no port side. Excuse me? Okay, you need to verify the contactor. The problem is on the contactors. No? Okay, you need to bring an external signal AC 120 and connect here. And the bow thruster, one direction. And you bring the signal here. Nothing. Nothing. What is the problem? That contactor, the second one. Finito. And now we are going to do the same with hydraulic motor. Okay, now we are going to do the same installation, the same configuration with hydraulic motor. In other words, my friends, the lower unit here, the lower unit of the bow thruster will be exactly the same lower unit. The bracket is the same, but now here I am going to mount uh, uh, the, the, the hydraulic uh, motor uh, over there, located over there. That's okay? All right. What is the idea? I am going to install here, my friends, that hydraulic motor. And the hydraulic motor receives the fluid for the central hydraulic unit. Later, I'm going to explain what is the meaning of the central hydraulic unit. I have the motor, AC or DC. I have the reservoir. I have the reservoir over there. And here, you have uh, the first one for, uh, for uh, about thrusters. Uh, you have uh, the second one uh, for the davits. I'm going to explain later how is the process to create, to configure this uh, central hydraulic unit. And uh, in each one, uh, you have solenoids. Anybody follow me? You have solenoids, solenoids. Uh, this is the, the valve, no? The servo valves, you remember? Mm -hmm. Neutral position, one position for one side, the other position for the second side. This one in the bottom is for valve thruster, the second one for passarella, the other for the garage door, the other that that. And this one is the bow thruster. Bow thruster, the last one. Here, solenoid and solenoid. And this one, send the fluid, my friends, send the fluid here, and send the fluid here into the hydraulic motor. And that solenoid servo valve have a two solenoids here. The solenoids, my friend, look at this. This is the joystick. Those are the terminals of the joystick. The joystick receives the positive in the middle from the positive boost bar. And the joystick sends this signal here and this signal here. And the other one is negative and negative. And, uh, and now what happened with the hydraulic motor? The hydraulic motor is operated for this central hydraulic unit. This is the motor, AC or DC, and this is the reservoir. And uh, this is the hydraulic motor, and this is the typical bow thruster, the lower unit of the bow thruster. 
And now, when I operate the joystick in this direction or this direction, I activate this solenoid or this solenoid, and the servo valve move it here or here, and the fluid enter here and return over there, or enter here and return over there. If bingo, this is the hydraulic bow thruster. Of course, I have the same joystick, exactly the same in all the units. But this unit is hydraulic. The previous one, AC motor three-phase, and the previous one, DC. Nice, no? 